So before the video begins, I would like to give context on what's going on. Me and Holden Dude are doing a co-op run of the Pokemon Train Card game on the Game Boy. But there's a twist. After this co-op one, we're going to be given one month to try seeing who will be able to speedrun the game the fastest. Stakes have yet to be decided. This will all be live streamed on my YouTube channel. Also, a little disclaimer, we're just testing out the water so the series gets a lot of support and viewers enjoyed. Then we'll continue with it. With that all being said, I hope you enjoy the video. Get through all that. Okay, let's get through this. Uh, I know we get to pick through three decks, which is basically starter Pokemon. Is there any decks right. that you prefer? Um, which decks are there? I know that there's a grass the deck, water deck, and chart, and a fire deck. So you know the basic trio. All right. Uh, what's going on? Who's this doctor? He got a mop for a head, bro. Doctor Mason. I'm doing the practice game, so it's a tutorial. Yeah, choose basic Pokemon place in the... Okay. Draw so this is just practice. Right. So each po Pokemon. When Metopia comes out, I'll race Holden to see the faster Metopia player. Got a Metopia challenge, man. Choose no. a basic Pokemon. So I know some about this. I used to play the online TCG oh, game. A little bit, not too much. I'm not too big into the TCG game. Collecting Pokemon cards, though, I love unboxing videos, honestly. Oh, yeah. I used, I have, like, a whole card collection. You can choose either Goldeen or Staryu. For a practice duel, choose Goldeen. I don't want to choose Goldeen, but let's do Goldeen. There's a one on the bench. I remember Goldeen. I used to play the, um... Uh, like, my very first stream was the, uh... What's it called? Uh... Pokemon, like... The online TCG the, game. Uh, the one that kind of like, you know, you get codes for when you open up a pack. Yeah. You can switch bed Pokemon through active Pokemon. Again, only right. basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Right. Should you start from your hands? We have levels? We're not going to put in the bench. Press the B button to finish. Okay. So you start your level 15 on the bench. When you have no Pokemon <laughs> to put on your bench, press the B button to finish. Okay. Two prizes. I want to put Boy, a water oh, energy. Oh Cannot select this card. Remember okay. those like Pokemon like card game coins? They have like a picture of like a legendary on it. Oh, the ones that you flip to figure out who goes first. Yeah. I love those things. They were so sick looking. Dude, I remember there was this um place like in my town. It's like bookstore. They had like like I guess like kind of tournament stuff where you could like go and fight other people with Pokemon cards. And they had these like actual like physical like gym badges that you could win. Like the like the tournament like would it be like contest or something? It probably would just be like you go you do a few battles, depending on how many you win. Um. Uh, is like uh, uh depending on how many you win, uh, gets you gives you like prizes. Like you get like free cards and like. That's a sick thing. I'm gonna be stuff. real here. I can imagine being a kid and doing that. I know. Ooh, it was that so, it was so fun. That I was never good sick. at it. <laughs> Finally, but, um, if you uh, if if you won a certain amount of games, like going over, like going there multiple times, uh, you get like like if you win a certain amount of games, then you get these like gym badge things, which are literally just like actual badges from like the Pokemon games Ooh. you have. Were they like custom made, or did they like buy them or whatever? I'm not sure. I don't know if I still have them. I'm pretty- right. there's no way there's not like collectible gym badges that you can get to like display. Oh, yeah. I feel like that would be sick to have. You just hang it up or something. What? Sam is thinking he used the low kick. Man, try to kick a fish. Honestly, this game's HUD isn't that bad. I watched like- Yeah. I remember I sent Holden Dude uh, just a video based on menus. And I thought this game was really like- because I want to check out the game early on. And the game HUD looked really confusing, but now that I kind of understand it in a way, it's a bit nicely made. Like, it gets to the point. There's no extra details. Mm -hmm. Attach fighting energy to Rattata. That Rattata's gonna punch me, bro. Bro, okay. We can't do this stream without talking about this. The Pokemon present today. Oh my I god. Oh. Yo, finally Gen 4 remakes. I'm gonna be real here. I was hyped for the Gen 4 remakes. But that's not even the main show right now. Pokemon I Arceus? Know, freaking... Woo! Pokemon Legends? Oh a my freaking god. freaking Pokemon survival game, kinda? I know. I watched this during class. I thought it was so sick. 
Like, who needs Pixelmon anymore? Yeah. <laughs> and Pokemon RC is now open world. I can't explain how big this is. Okay, I, I'm skipping the tutorial in a way. Normally I'm reading this in my head, but I'm too hyper Pokemon Arceus. I gotta read this for a second. Touch a water energy to your bench star you. Choose attack and attack your opponent with horn attack. You knock out a defending Pokemon pick up a prize. Well, what do I do? Uh attach a water energy to the card your bench star you. Choose attack and attack okay. Do you need to practice again? Yeah, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> so you can go yeah, enough. I, I just gotta skip through too. Attaching energy cards to your bench Pokemon can get them ready for battle. Attach a water no. energy card to your bench star you. Okay. No. But no, like ever since like finding all the like like mods they have and like like the Pokemon mods they have for like Minecraft and all that, I always wanted like a game like that where it was like open world, you could catch Pokemon and battle. Honestly, yeah. And now it's like finally here. Like, I think I kids have been wanting this, bro, since, g honestly, Gen 1. Like, I've heard, like, literally every kid who's a Pokemon fan talk about how cool an open-world Pokemon game would be. And the thing is, one of the more reasons why I'm hyped, too, is Pokemon Arceus, even if the game sucks, this is a whole new step of Pokemon. I like, know. the potential with the series is insane. If they get, like, an open-world Pokemon game right, Breath of the Wild Pokemon, basically... Oh, that would probably be one of the best games on the Switch known to mankind. Like, honestly. I know. Dude, I, I wonder if that's like, this is gonna like, like a test for Gen 9. Yeah. Imagine the open world new generation? I know. Cause Dude. like, I mean, if they follow the pattern, it should be like next year, like possibly the year after. Yeah, because they were released in 2019. I remember seeing that on Pokemon Present. And they were released one every four to five years. In their new gen. Dude, I remember Gen oh, 8 came hello, out. Mate. I'm not ignoring you. Hello. Huh? Dude, when Gen 8 came out, I was so hyped for that, though. Like, I remember Gen yeah. 8 came out. I freaking, uh... I, I remember, I was sick for school, right? Mm -hmm. So, I missed three days of school the moment Gen 8 came out. Or Gen, yeah, Gen 8 came out. And I grinded the Pokedex. I completed the Pokedex in under a week. And I only had one copy of the game. So I literally messaged people on Twitter if they could help me trade from the Hoodlum Scrafty Discord. When Gen 8 came out, I no life. If Gen 9 comes out, I'm no lifing that as well. I don't know if you've done like much Pokemon trading card, like battles, like in real life, like, you know, like face to face or anything. But like, they had these like little like, I mean, this is what, like, I had. They had these, like, little circle things, and they had, like, numbers on them, and you put them on the card, and that showed how much damage was taken. Uh, oh, I think they're called damage tokens? I know they also have those for status yeah, effects like as that. well. Yeah. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Honestly, I think most things with the TCG is really sick. I think they did the TCG game so right. Because it feels special when you open up a Pokemon pack, you know? When you get those coins as a kid, I loved that. I remember just flipping that around, just fidgeting with it. I loved it as a kid. It felt, you know, unique to you. I might still have those tokens. Oh. Oh, so sorry. I have not played your Minecraft mod yet. Use a bench Pokemon. You know, Drowsy and Staryu. Choose Staryu. Choose a water energy card from your hand and attach it to Staryu. Choose Staryu and attack your opponent with Staryu. Staryu about to slap this Raticate, bro. I right. start you ain't got hands. Ah. The start you ain't got hands. I just realized that much cop art he has right there. I have that exact Pokemon card. Oh really? Yeah, I got that exact Pokemon card. When I was young, um, I remember we had a family member. I think it was like cleaning up his room or something. I think I was in like grade one or something. I barely remember this, but I got all his old Pokemon cards. So I got a bunch of like these Gen 1 Pokemon cards. I'm gonna be real here, they're probably in horrible condition. Oh. And they're I doubt any of them are rare. I do know I do have some trainer bills though. And I know that's probably the rarest card I have. I have multiple of them. I didn't listen to what I was meant to do, so I'm probably gonna attach a water energy. And I have to evolve Star You, I'm pretty sure. Oh was yeah, those any? um weren't they get giving out like Pokemon cards at McDonald's or something? Dude, I heard, did you hear about the news about it? I'm pretty sure. I, I don't not. know if this was fake, but I saw online 
that a bunch of just like you know like teenagers or whatever was buying all the happy meals to get all oh, the really? cards so little kids couldn't get any pokemon cards oh no i'm pretty <laughs> sure like there was a thing in like pop tarts or something where they were um where they had the pokemon cards and apparently in the store they just open the boxes and take the cards out <laughs> that's just robbery bro Oh, I just do what I was supposed to do. I'm gonna assume I need to evolve. The art in this game is pretty sick for the limitations yeah. that they had on the Game Boy. Put more trick cards we've played. Alright. Game with your turn, knock Yes, I won the tutorial. Let's go. That only took us 20 minutes for the tutorial. But we got there. It's like a deck. Ooh. Which deck should. I don't know what, what deck should I do. Follow everything I said. There are other styles of play, so try them out by choosing a deck. What are you guys thinking? What do you guys think? Charmander, Squirrel, Bulbasaur. Chat. Hmm, let me add some of my own cards here. Also, make sure you don't accidentally speed up. <laughs> Imagine, uh, if you speed run and click the speed up button, bro. My guy. <laughs> uh, what deck are you going to go for? Do you have a specific I'm one? I'm not sure. I'm asking chat. I'll give you some. I'm pretty sure oh. Charmander's the best for speedrunning. And then. <laughs> Bulbasaur is the second best for speedrunning. I don't know why. But that's all I know. Charmander. Chat's saying Charmander. You're going Charmander? Uh, apparently, they're they're selling the McDonald's Pokemon card. People are selling the McDonald's Pokemon cards for like over a thousand. No one's buying them, bro. That's a troll. No way. Probably not. Get that in a Happy Meal. No way the McDonald's employees aren't snagging them though if they are going for that much. I'm gonna go Bulbasaur if you're gonna go Charmander. Right, I went Bulbasaur. Yeah, I went Charmander. Bulbasaur and Friends deck. Okay, a Bulbasaur and Friends deck. Right, here are the fighting cards. I see Bulbasaur and Friends deck. Okay, get 30 cards. I know that the max you can get in deck I think is 50 or 60 cards. Car clubs, there are many people playing at the clubs. Yeah, the clubs are like the gyms. I know that much. Right. I watched a review on this game, and luck, thankfully, is spoiler free. So like I said, I barely know anything about this, but I do know that clubs are like gyms. All right. And we get new cards if we beat them. Oh, you can run in this game? I thought that was my speed up for a second. I was like, what? Oh, can you? I was just using my speed up. Yeah, you can hold down B. There's a, oh. there's a rock club, fighting club, lightning club, psychic club, grass club, water club. Challenge Hall, I'm guessing that's Elite Four. Fire Club, Science Club, Grass Club. I'm gonna go to the Water Club. Can you just pick one? Yeah, you just walk out. Oh. Right, I'll go Water too. Well, getting the Water Medal wasn't that hard. You could probably make a like, open world Pokemon fan game where you could just do every gym in order, or in whatever order you want. Kind of like this in a way? Probably, yeah. What? It's you, Vecco? What are you doing? Huh? That's a deck? Are you trying to get the Ronald legendary from Pokemon? Ronald McDonald? What? I can't believe it. You, the legendary Pokemon cards? I also know that this game's hard in the early games, but gets really easier later on. Make Is it like... Can I just skip all these trainers, or... The I restricted don't know. area. The Clubmaster's resting. I you guess have to fight everybody? That's what I'm thinking. By talking to them? Doesn't it feel good to relax by the pool? Isn't it wonderful to duel I'm like this? Would you like to duel Amanda? Sure, I'll duel Amanda. We'll play three matches. It'll be one match. Okay. Water Club Mender, Amanda. Hey guys, post commentary. Vecco here. Just came in to say that, yeah, I really got destroyed this fight. I'll explain. Scyther is a basic Pokemon that can be placed down at any time without needing to evolve. Unlike Sea King or Ivysaur, you don't need a you don't need to place down a pre-evolution Pokemon to put them in. And now, he also has a move called Swords Dance, which buffs her attack double. So Scyther will do double damage. Also, Scyther has a move that does 30 base damage, okay? All my Pokemon have 30 to 50 health. So without Swords Dance, I'm getting one or two shots. But with Swords Dance, I'm getting one shot every time. And to remind you, only three of my Pokemon can die before a game over. And let me remind you that she has two Scythers. And they're tanky. They have like 60, 70 health. Scyther is so tanky. Why is this thing an early game? Anyways, I just came in to say that. We're going to skip this fight and I'll move on to the next one.
I'm uh, I'm gonna try to fight the other water Pokemon. I do know that the grass gym also has Diglett, so I'd be careful. Oh, alright. There will be one match. Fight okay. Diglett with Diglett. Okay, we'll shuffle the opponent's deck. Let's try this again. Hopefully this works. Double heads. Dude, it's so useful I've only having, got like, double, double tails. Monitors. Dude, I want one so bad. I only have a 144 hertz monitor. But if I get double monitor, I don't know if I want another 144 hertz one or 60 hertz. Slow poke spacing out. This one match has been going on forever between me and slow poke. He won't die, man. Oh, no. He won't die. Who's oh, even stalling in this game. Oh, he's stalling. What is my plan? Okay, I'm a hmm. Thinking. I just gotta grind this out and wait until I get more than one heads. Okay, let's go. First double heads. Twenty damage right there. Magmar. I'll take a Magmar. There's twenty damage. You're still mad. Well, high stands early. Cole, that's a lot you're asking for, man. I'm just gonna take some time, but if you do that, trust me, Cole, having a good setup, good capture card is really useful. Like, I got myself an Elgato. I literally sold my Octopath oh. Traveler for it. I remember I sold oh. up on Kijiji. Need a Reno. Oh! Wait, play. Water gun. Uh oh. Okay, wait, I wanna check. 40? Excuse me? Pokemon. Need a Reno. Double kick horn drill. Lightning. Oh my god, Lightning. that damage. Hold up. I'm gonna start. Okay, where's that magma? I'm gonna start working on my Nido Reno, man. In the meantime, Nido Ram. I need more energy cards in my deck, honestly. Oh, triple heads? Triple heads! Whew. Fire punch and flamethrower. Slowpoke was knocked out. I'll draw one I question. Have no good cards. <gasps> yes! Oh no, that War Turtle does damage. <gasps> that War Turtle does 40 damage? Damn. Whew. That's so much. Uh, why did I choose fire? Why did I not choose, like, oh, grass or something? What energy? He needs a grass energy for double kick. What is double kick? I am, like, two, like, cards behind. You sent me a version of the mod with tons of bugs. Alright. Hmm. Alright, I need to sacrifice you. Grass. Actually, that's not a good idea because I'll lose if I die. <laughs> All we gotta do is just try to win one match or something, get really good cards, and then build up our deck from there. Okay, come on. Triple heads again. Triple heads. No heads. Tails. Tails again. I have energy. Triple tails. I have okay. no good items. Triple tails. Ooh, that does so much damage. Well, this all depends on Nidorino. This all depends on Nidorino. I drew water energy, oh. which means it's kind of what I needed. I'm not gonna lie. Because now with those energies, we'll do double kick. The next, I can do. Right. I think I win. I think I win a battle. If I get, if I get heads, I can't get tails. Grass yes. Level, real quick. No particular yes. reason. I just feel like grass is, you know, pretty cool. Whew. We're just gonna go there. Oh, hold on. I think I win. Hold on. If I don't choke, I think I win. I'm. Am I allowed to go to a different one or not? Hey, yeah, can. Just go walk out. Play Nido Reno. I'm not risking this. I'm not risking this. I'm going for the horn drill. I need double energy. I have to risk it now. Please. Pokemon gods. Give me the RNG. Pokemon gods. Alright, we got Magnet yes! Magnemite. And Charmander. Whew. Every I have a Magnemite. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I got a Flareon from the Bulbasaur deck as well. Uh be careful. I know that one of the trainers in the grass gym has a Diglett. That's all I know, because I remember the review says early on the game's hard. He was like, I went to the grass type gym with my Charmander deck and one of them had a dick lid, and it was so hard. Oh no. I received a booster pack. Call this Oh you get booster packs when you win. Uh booster pack has Chansey. 
Choose a card you wish to examine. Oh, I, un I got a, myself a Charmander a Magnet. Golden What's Pikachu. What's Porygon doing in the ice gym? What the Porygon doing there? Porygon. I got Magic Carp. I don't want Magic Carp. Oh, I changed. And another booster pack. Check the cards. Oh, I got two. I got a Zapdos, man. Wait, what? I don't think the Zapdos is any good. Because he takes a long time to set up. Because he requires four electric energy cards and three electric energy cards for his first move. Plus another oh. el energy card. So it requires four energy yeah, cards to set there. up. But if you get four energy cards on Zapdos, he does 100 damage. That's oh. 10 hit points, bro. Oh. Are the booster packs RNG or is this set? Because that is goaded. And I got an Abra. For my Kadabra, I don't really want a Psychic deck, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Oh my God! I'll get back to I just have to practice more to improve my Pokemon card game. Okay, I'm. So I'm gonna speed through what I did since it took me a while to edit my deck because I'm really bad at making Pokemon decks. Basically, what I did with my deck was I took out two Caterpies and a Metapod and replaced it with some Electric cards and Electabuzz. Since he's easy to set up and he steam balls hard. He like he snowballs super hard. I also removed a water energy and replaced it with Ponyta since Ponyta does pretty good early game damage for being a basic Pokemon and gives me a bit more tank coverage. I got the like deck isn't that new, out. but it's a bit that better. Am I focused on getting like Doug Trio? Doug Trio? I have like no good cards. This guy's got a Vaporeon, I think. Yeah, like what do I do? Okay, I'm fighting Amanda right now. <laughs> well, I'm gonna end the video here. This has been half of the first TCG stream that I have done. In the next video, we're gonna try and beat Amanda who has the double scythers. Before the video ends, please show support to Holden. I have known him for a long time and he's a really great YouTuber. The next stream might be a little delayed because Holden is having some computer issues. I hope you guys enjoy the content and I'll catch you guys in the next stream.